Hi everyone, this is section 5.3, addition and subtraction of rational expressions. So a rational expression, remember from 5.1, it's a, a polynomial over a polynomial. So we have P over Q plus R over Q. But since the bases are the same, we can just say P plus R over Q. With subtraction, we have P over Q minus R over Q. Subtraction is a little bit different than addition. Because of subtraction and that top piece being a binomial, it could be a binomial or a trinomial, we're going to put parentheses around that second part. So I'm going to write it as P minus the parentheses of R, close the parentheses, divided by Q, where Q cannot be zero. So in example one, it says 5X divided by 2X minus 1, and we're adding 3 over 2X minus 1. First thing I notice, my denominators. They are the same. Because they are the same, you're going to write 5X plus 3 over 2x minus 1. When you look at the numerator and denominator, 5x plus 3 has nothing in common with 2x minus 1, so this will be your answer. When we look at b, it says x squared over x minus 4 minus x plus 12 over x minus 4. The denominators are the same, but because there's a minus sign, remember what I stated earlier, you need to put parentheses around the numerator. So you're going to write it as x squared minus the parentheses x plus 12, close, divided by x minus 4. So at this point, you think you're done. Remember that minus sign needs to distribute. So you're going to write x squared minus x minus 12, divided by x minus 4. Before you say that you are completed, verify that you cannot factor the numerator. So when we look at the top line, based on what we did in 5.1 notes and 5.2, 1 and 2, well, 1, we're going to break it down. So x squared minus x minus 12. Numbers that multiply to be 12 that can give you a 1 can only be 4 and 3. To make it a negative 1, I have to be a negative 4 and a positive 3. The 2, x minus 4 stays x minus 4. So when we look at our problem, we rewrite it as x minus 4 times x plus 3 divided by x minus 4. They have like terms. The x minus 4s cancel out, and you're left with x plus 3. The least common denominator or your LCD. For the LCD, you're going to do one of every prime number. So, for example, the prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, to name a few. It's going to be the highest exponent power that you see of each of those prime numbers. And then it's going to be one of every variable with the highest exponent given. So if we look at example two, if they had 1 12th, 5 18 and 7 30 and they told you they wanted you to add 1 12th plus 5 18 plus 7 30 The first thing I noticed is the denominators are different. So you need to come up with a least common denominator. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down 12, 18, and 30 and find a common denominator that they all go into. So you're going to start with 12. 12 breaks down into 4 times 3, which then breaks down into 2 times 2 times 3. So we have 2 to the second power times a 3 to the first. We go to the 18. 18, we have 9 times 2, which then breaks down into 3 times 3 times 2. So we have 2 to the first times 3 to the second. Then you go to the 30. We have 3 times 10, which then we have 3 times 2 times 5. So you end up with 2 to the 1st times 3 to the 1st times 5 to the 1st. So first thing you want to do is to break all your composite numbers, which 12, 18, and 30 are, to prime numbers, which 2, 3, and 5 are. Remember what I said, it was one of every prime number, so I need one of every prime number. So obviously I need a two, I need a three, and I need a five. Then it says highest exponent power. So when we look at our problems, we have two to the second, two to the first, two to the first. I want two to the second. So that exponent has to be the given to that two. When I look at my threes, three to the first, three to the second, three to the first, three to the second, so that has to have a power of two. There's no fives, there's no fives, it's five to the first. Well, remember, one of every prime, so I have a five to the first. So your LCD 
is going to be two squared, which is four times three, which is nine times five to the first. So we have 180. So it means if I were to add 112, 5 18 and 7 thirtieths, I need to turn the denominator for each of them to 180 and then change the numerator so that I can combine my like terms. On part B, it says one over two X to the third Y and five over 16 X Y to the second Z. So remember, we're gonna look at our numbers, two and 16. Two can become a 16, but 16 cannot become a two. If I were to add my terms together. So I want that two to become a 16 by raising it to a power of four. So 16 is my LCD value. So we know our LCD has a 16 in it. Then remember what I said, highest exponent. Well, we have three X's, we have one X. I need my three X's, I'm gonna write X cubed. We have one Y, we have two Y's. I need the two Y's. No Z's, one Z, I need the Z. So our LCD is gonna be 16 X cubed, Y to the second Z. Example three says find the LCD. We're just gonna find our LCD. So on A, it says x squared plus three over x squared plus nine x plus 30, I mean 20. And then we have six over x squared plus eight x plus 16. So to find your LCD, first thing we need to do is look at our denominators. We're not looking at the numerators, we're looking at the denominators. So we need to factor the first part and the second part. So the first one, numbers that multiply to 20 that can add to nine, remember has to multiply to 20, and add to nine, well, four and five. Multiply to 20 and add to nine. So X plus four, X plus five. Numbers that multiply to 16 that can add to eight. Well, four and four, X plus four, X plus four. So when we look at this, we have a bubble raised to a power of one, another one raised to a power of one, but this is actually X plus four raised to the second power. So when we're looking for our LCD and this, this problem right here, we need one of every type. Well, highest power. This is the highest power of the X, X plus fours, and this has an X plus five. So X plus four squared times X plus five. That is your LCD. When we look at B, it says X plus four over X minus three, one over three minus X. Remember, X minus three, three minus X. That is that rule that we learned, A minus B over B minus A, that is, changes to a negative one factor. So if I want this piece, one over three minus X to match X minus three, we're factoring out a negative one. So this one becomes negative one times negative three plus X, which is negative one times X minus three. Now, this denominator and that denominator match. But remember, we need one of every type. So that negative one is needed and they share this piece. So your LCD is gonna be negative one times X minus three. That negative one is needed if I were to add these two as a fraction. So leading into example four, says three over seven B plus four over B squared. The denom first thing we notice is denominators are different. So we need to come up with an LCD. So our LCD, we circle our denominators because that's what we're comparing them to. We have a seven B and then a B squared. Well, remember it's one of every prime number. The seven is a prime number. Highest power bubbles, power. So B to the first, B to the second, I need B to the second. So seven B squared is gonna be our denominator. We are changing our fractions to become seven B squared. Our denominator is gonna become seven B squared. So let's look. Seven B becomes seven B squared by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the letter B. So I get three B. B squared becomes seven B squared by multiplying numerator and denominator by seven. So I get a 28. Now the denominators are the same. Seven B squared, seven B squared. So the rule of thumb, like denominators, add your numerator. So three B plus 28 over seven B squared would be your final answer. 
On example five, it says 3t minus 2 divided by t squared plus 4t minus 12. And then we're subtracting the rational expression 5 divided by 2t plus 12. First thing I noticed, denominators are not the same. So we need to make them the same. So first thing we need to do is figure out what they break down to factored wise so we can come up with an LCD. So we're, I'm going to circle my denominators. That's what I'm going to work with first. So we have t squared plus 4t minus 12. Remember, we need to come up with numbers that multiply to negative 12 that add to positive 4. Well, 6 and 2 can get you to 12. And if 6 is the positive number and 2 is the negative, you get your positive 4. So we become t plus 6 times t minus 2. So that's what my denominator becomes there. Then we go to the other one. 2t plus 12. Well, they're both factors of the number 2. So you get 2 times t plus 6. So now we have our pieces. We need to come up with our LCD based on our part. So our LCD. I am going to need the number 2 because it's part of my piece. It's a prime number. So I know that we're going to use a 2. I also know that I need to do a t plus 6 because they both have a t plus 6. And because this one has a t minus 2, I also need it. You treat each piece as its own variable. You treat them as their own variables. So this is what our denominator should be. 2 times t plus 6 times t minus 2. So when we look at our problem, our original was 3t minus 2 over, and I'm going to put the factored forms, t plus 6, t minus 2, minus 5 over 2 times t plus 6. The reason I did the factored form is so that it's easier for you to determine what you are missing, what you are missing. So we're gonna put our big fraction line and minus sign fraction line and I put our new denominator we want, two parentheses t plus six times t minus two. Two parentheses t plus six times t minus two. Now we can see our original has t plus six, t plus six, t minus 2, t minus 2. It's missing the value of 2. So you're multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2. So you can write 2 parentheses 3t minus 2. Now, in this one, we have a 2 and we have a 2. t plus 6, t plus 6. We're missing t minus 2. So you're multiplying the numerator and denominator by t minus 2. So 5 times t minus 2. Remember that minus n is there. So when we look at our fraction line, we have 2 times 3t minus 2 minus sign 5 times t minus 2. That negative sign is going to affect the 5. Over 2 times t plus 6 times t minus 2. We're at this point. We need to simplify the numerator line. So we're going to distribute. So we become... 6t minus 4 minus 5t plus 10 over 2 parentheses t plus 6 t minus 2. Combine your like terms. I had $6 and spent 5. I have a t. I'm short 4 but found 10. I have 6. At this point, you're going to apply the rules from 5.2. 5.2 says cancel out your like terms. So these two are the same. And since our numerator went away, we have to put a place value. So we're going to put a 1 over 2 parentheses t minus 2. And that would be your 